Cindy! Stop it! Well, are you satisfied? You've totally ruined his evening snack, which is probably his morning breakfast. Cindy? Hey! Hey! Monkey! Are you happy? <laughs> you. You're good, man. Yes, thank you for being mature. Or is it just you're too warm to, to bother? Oh, hey, we got this on. Oh, look! Here, look at what we got. <clears throat> Some of this hair cotton weed. Yeah, in blossom. Having an extra mild spring, well, a summer now, but extra mild beginning to summer. Which means, oh, just wonderful, excellent, primal weather in the south of Okanagan. Because the normal would be, well, probably by the third, second or third week of June, too fucking hot. It's maybe okay up on the lake heads, around Kelowna and uh, Penticton, Okay Falls. There you go. Okay. But not down here, nope. Well, might as well uh, make this worth uploading. And there's uranium cover down there. What are we at? June uh, 30th. Right. Oh, holy shit. Tomorrow's. Canada's third on birthday. Well, at least from my perspective. <clears throat> when I um, was forced to emancipate my uh, being. Although I haven't entirely dissolved the straw man, I did restructure the. Uh, all right, come on, guys. I did restructure the uh, um, corporate essence and bond between corporate Canada anyone that thinks they have some sort of an interest or hold or chateau on the birthing certificate that was I don't know issued while I was standing there and every time they try and get my old culpable to mass murder tax hole yeah, you hear me, which is, you know, <clears throat> the root of all the problems. But I guess, Stephen, yeah, there would be people like me that knew enough to the law that had to say, Whoa! In every which way, from dissolving the last parliament by lawful proclamation to, well, every lawful way. <laughs> I mean, Section 666 of the Criminal Code of Canada talks about thou must intervene in a crime and cause it to stop, if only to report it. Uh, whatever. Anyhow, I'm pretty sure that's in Section 666. I don't know. All I know is somebody's paying if I have to bring out the law books and make an exact quote. And I don't intend it to be me. Because I am a lawful and righteous sovereign being. Not some corporate asset. To be fucked over, sold, traded, called for indemnity by some disenfranchised. Disassociated, apathetic, amoral, 
a-hole of a corporate beast that has no mind, no conscience, no accountability. Maybe, maybe if we repair things, we get that their uh, citizen's super veto thingy going. Just maybe we can revisit our relationship. Till then I'm Canadian with a K. Which is like meeting place of the people or something according to the Frontenac lingo of the day. But that legal term was and that open invitation was bestowed upon the Britons and whatever Roman entity runs those lackeys. I don't know. I'll leave it for you guys to put it down there. Hey, oh, here we are. We kept her rolling, so we'll, we'll give you another look at the, uh, the lowest point in Mars here. New Jerusalem trench and New Earth gap. Didn't take long at all. Ninety-nine years, and we weren't even trying hard. Are you gonna do the same on your time, man? You know, granted, such and such was such that we weren't able to maintain it. You know, which is kind of uh, lose a lot of your investment. But anyhow, and I can't definitively say all my kind are extinct, or the kind that we um, guardian. I mean, that's just my assumption. I obviously don't know everything everywhere in the universe. And, well, quite frankly, I never actually really knew them. Just their essence and what, you know, what you can glean with in the of life. I never even mingled since my... There really isn't a name since uh, <coughs> since my chicken little parts were constructed and launched, and I was grown within. All right, be so chill. I know you want to just say, okay, now you got your. Citizen Super Veto Act passed, and now you have veto superpowers, just like the Senate. So, in effect, what you're saying is no, only you say vetoed, and that's the end of the show. Once enough of you say it, okay? So, you say that. On your Canada's birthday, or your if you're like me and un Canada, if you're the <clears throat> the unliving, if you've died uh, and have unbirthdays, and your great Canada that you loved and contributed everything to has also died, and you have an unbirthday Canada day, have a good one and tell it like it is then. Make your will Owen. If you can't, under this corrupt uh, system, well, you're considered incompetent and therefore to be ruled over by others that assume your power of eternity. Just as though you had voted. Yeah, I know reverse marketing is illegal under tort law, so what gives, eh? Okay. Anyhow, we'll just leave that with you. So, <clears throat> what are you doing about obtaining your veto power and restoring the balance? Just think. Uh, we want to go to Iran and spend your grandchildren's inheritance killing Iranians for no reason. 
We won't get our friends that are running the, the other side of the Hegelian dialectic. Don't worry about that. We need them for other shows. Uh, <clears throat> plenty of tax holes to keep. So, uh... What? Ah! 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 Fido! Ah! We're melting away! Ah! Ah! The pyramid's crumbling in! Ah! Hello, pyramid blocks who built this Ponzi scheme!